Now to the latest on the coronavirus. Scientists have now detected two cases of the so-called South Africa variant in California. The variant appears to be more transmissible than the conventional coronavirus, and the current vaccines are less effective against it. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain what makes this variant different. All of the current coronavirus vaccines share one thing in common. They train your immune system to build antibodies by introducing fake spike proteins. They're designed to look just like the spiky knobs on the surface of the actual coronavirus. But the South Africa variant has a few tiny mutations in its spikes, says UCSD virologist Doug Richman. So the whole spike doesn't change shape. What happens is a little knob or piece, we call it an epitope, that uh, specific antibodies bind to uh, is changed so they no longer bind. Fewer working antibodies means the vaccines are less effective against this variant and COVID survivors are at risk of a second infection. There are now dozens of confirmed reinfections in other parts of the globe. In general, almost all the time, the second case is much milder than the first. You see that, you know, the, most of it is actually found in South Africa, but you have some in Mozambique. Karthik Gangavarapu is one of the scientists at the Scripps Research Institute that sequences samples looking for mutations in the virus. They were the first to spot the UK variant in San Diego, but so far they haven't found the one from South Africa. We've seen evidence of this, uh, the variant, of the variant being detected in many other countries, um, but we haven't seen a huge increase in prevalence yet. Uh, of that variant. He says the spike protein is made up of about 1,200 amino acids. Every once in a while, the virus makes a mistake while copying itself that causes one of those acids to change, seen in red. The South Africa variant shares some of the mutations in the UK variant, plus two others. One is the 484th acid in the sequence, which changed from an E to a K what scientists call E484K. Researchers believe that may be the critical change, making vaccines five to six times less effective against this variant. But Dr. Richmond points out the vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna still appear to work. What's going to happen is someone who would have a, a life-threatening or hospitalization-required infection will have a milder infection. All of the vaccine makers are working on booster shots to better recognize the South Africa variant spikes including that mutation, E484K. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.